The U.S. Wheat Associates is the marketing arm of wheat growers around the nation. And the group's chairman this past year was Don Schieber from Kay County, Oklahoma. Our Rob McClendon spent time with him over the last 12 months to get some insight to a local farmer's life whose passion is international in scope. It's Friday night in small town Oklahoma, and Don Schieber is taking the field. Football appreciation. I don't know, I've really had a passion for that through the years. This fall will be my 42nd year doing that. A devotion that translates into his other passion, U.S. wheat. Wheat's been my life ever since I was old enough to know what it was. Started driving tractor when I was seven years old. Driving the combine when I was 12. Hauling wheat to the elevator when I was eight by myself. So it's about the only thing I've ever known. Harvesting 160 acres of seed wheat on a farm he bought right after he was married, Don says farming is in his blood. I decided I wanted to be a farmer when I was in the seventh grade and aimed all of my education to that. It just seemed like it would be a waste now if I wasn't a farmer. And that he has been. Just out of college, Schieber began working with seed wheat at OSU's Agronomy Research Station in Lahoma. They had just got the farm and when I was finishing my master's degree. And my uh, master's thesis was a soil survey of that farm. So they felt like I knew more about that place than anybody. So they uh, hired me to be the superintendent. So I was there for three years, kind of got everything going over there. And, I guess I got interested in seed wheat production doing the research and still in the seed wheat business. So. And with almost half of the U.S. wheat crop heading for export, Sheber's concerns are much wider than just his farm. Oh, extremely important because we export about 43 percent of the wheat crop that we grow in Oklahoma. So this year it may be more than that because we don't have that much wheat. But I think uh, we'll have plenty of wheat to go around, but uh, you know, if, if we don't have exports, there's no need to grow this much. But uh, so we've got to got to keep our export markets. I think that'll happen. Through the years, Schieber's traveled the globe, telling U.S. wheat story, establishing relationships, and promoting a crop that helps his neighbors and friends across U.S. wheat country. Oh, it's really been a, a thrill to see all the people you uh, get to see around the world and get to do a lot of world travel, uh, trying to sell wheat in open markets in other parts of the world, continue selling wheat to the ones that we're selling to now, maybe increase that market somewhat, and then to deal with all the problems we've had with the free trade agreements and... Uh, the droughts around the world and, you know, people thinking they're out of food and they want to build up their supply so they'll have some in case there is a problem somewhere in the world and things like that has just really been a thrill to get to be around a lot of that that you normally wouldn't get to see. And while Don's work with U.S. Wheat Associates has taken him to several continents and many more countries, the job doesn't stop when he's at home. With the state legislator and OSU's Dean of Agriculture in tow, Don Schieber taking a load of wheat to market is just another opportunity to tell the wheat export story. The U.S. Wheat Associates, we have offices in 18 different countries and we service about 80 countries around the world trying to uh, teach them how to use our grain, how to buy it, uh, the importance of it and the quality of it, how much better it is than some of our competitors. And uh, those kind of things we've got to have. And uh, it's, a lot of it is made possible with the checkoff dollars. And, and uh, we've got 19 states now that are members of U.S. Wheat Associates, so it's become a big deal. Not only is Don active with U.S. Wheat Associates, he also serves on the Oklahoma Wheat Commission. Oh, that's been a real lot of fun. Uh, a lot of work too, but 
Somebody's got to do it, and I was just lucky enough to be able to do that. I'm not going to be here forever, but I need to do what we can to help people that's going to take our place when we're gone. So they'll have it easier. And leaving some big shoes to fill. We've always been a reliable source for wheat and food supply around the world. And we've just got to keep our doors open so uh, we can continue that tradition. Don Schieber, outgoing chairman of U.S. Wheat Associates.